I'm gonna be building the most powerful gaming PC ever thanks to Intel's brand new Core i9-14900K CPU, which has just launched. Let's see how it performs.
first benchmark, PUBG 4K Ultra settings. We're getting 53 degrees on the CPU, and that is drawing a power load of 120 watts. Now the GPU is sitting around that 45 degree mark as well. Running around, we are getting around 330 FPS, which is quite some insane numbers. Rainbow Six Siege 4K Ultra settings, 53 degrees Celsius on the CPU. Now this time we're actually pulling 10 more watts at 130 watts compared to PUBG. We were getting around 400 FPS on average with the GPU hitting 41 degrees Celsius. Cyberpunk 2077, 4K Ultra settings, we were getting an average of 54 degrees Celsius on the CPU. GPU was hitting around 42 degrees Celsius underwater, and we were observing an average of 130 watts, but we did see as high as 149 watts in Cyberpunk. We were also achieving around an average of 80 FPS. We did decide to run Time Spy Extreme, and we achieved a score of 18,560, with the CPU score being 13,696. Now, this is better than 99 percent of PCs on the market. So if you want to compare this score to see whether or not it's worth upgrading for you, then you can use my score as a baseline. And finally, we have some rendering performance. So I ran the Monster, the Junk Shop, and the Classroom benchmark in Blender, and I achieved the scores that you can see on screen, 260 seconds in Monster, Junk Shop was 165 seconds, and Classroom was 125. Again, I encourage you to compare your scores. Make sure you select your CPU rather than the GPU for when you do decide to render. Our Cinebench R23 score was absolutely amazing. 37,443. Again, use this as a benchmark, guys. Run it for yourself and compare against your own CPU to see whether or not it's worth the upgrade for you. Now, while running all of these tests, I did actually have hardware info in the background and I recorded a maximum core clock of 6,000 megahertz. So you can see that there is quite a boost there. Now, while we were gaming, we did record temperatures around 54 degrees Celsius, but gaming is not putting the CPU under maximum stress. Our Blender and Cinebench runs actually made the CPU thermal throttle. We hit 101 degrees Celsius and that made the CPU throttle down. So it is a hot CPU if you are taking on multi-threaded tasks, but while gaming, it is completely fine. 